I come from Guadeloupe, it's an archipelago in the Caribbean, and one of the islands is likely to disappear in less than the next 10 years. This is happening. This is real. Climate justice is about people. Over the past decades, you know, we have responded to science um, with technical approaches, and we have failed it to bring the people front and center. Those who have contributed the least to the problem, the vulnerable communities, the least developed countries, small islands, are suffering the most. Look at the Lake Chad, which is only a third of what it was in providing water for 10 countries in Africa. It creates conflicts, and those conflicts can be taken advantage by other political interests. On the other hand, the wealthiest countries who build their economies from extractivism, especially with the use of fossil fuel, have really made their wealth on the back of those vulnerable communities. Unfortunately, the financial resources that developed countries committed you know, to mobilize since 2009 has not reached the level that they committed to, 100 billion, which was already very small in comparison to the actual needs. And only 2% of the climate finance goes to small islands, only 14% goes to least developed countries. Vulnerable communities and countries are creative. They are coming with ideas on, on how we can reform the financial system. Um, which has been designed from a very colonialized lens. And we need to make sure that those vulnerable communities, those vulnerable countries have representatives sitting at the table when the reform of those colonized processes are being questioned, are being discussed. Where there is even more innovation is on the use of their ancestral knowledge. The guardians of the forest, those who have done the best job in preserving the forest that we still have, have been indigenous people, have been those on the front lines. The open society approach to the issue of climate change is really centered around the notion of climate justice. We will double down on helping vulnerable communities to adapt to climate change, empowering locally-led efforts, and to also tackle the non-economic and economic losses and damages due to climate change. Governments alone will not be able to tackle these issues. We need to bring citizens at the center. We need all hands on deck.